Hello there guys and welcome to a brand new video looking at the best centre backs on Championship Manager 0102. Um, if you like these types of videos you can see my previous videos looking at the best goalkeepers and best fullbacks and the aim of this is pretty much to give you guys an idea of building the best team that you can possibly build on Championship Manager 0102. We're going to start off with the most expensive centre back um, at, that I've basically chosen and that is Alessandro Nesta from Lazio. 7 million actually is is nothing when you think about it. You do need to spend more than that, obviously. He's more around the 15 to 20 mark. Um, but if you're a Premier League club or, you know, a, a really top, top, top side, he is phenomenal. 25 years of age. He has got many, many years ahead of him, but his loyalty towards Lazio, obviously, is going to be a bit of an issue. He is the best defender in terms of money, I think, on the game, in my opinion. I think, you know, if you want to buy quality, this is the best quality that you can buy on this game. Uh, second one is Rio Ferdinand, 22 years of age. What we're noticing about these, rather than the goalkeepers and the fullbacks in the previous videos that I looked at, um, is that the age of these guys are actually very, very young, which which is amazing. Now, there's there's you know there's pros and cons to that. Obviously, these guys have got many, many years to go. Um, but the issue also is is that they do not go for cheap money. As you can see here, he is 5.25 million. You are not going to be paying 5.25 million for Rio Ferdinand from Leeds. You are going to be paying a lot more than that. Um, but he is a phenomenal player. So the minute you get him, you're pretty much set for life with a central defender in Rio. And the only way is up. So if someone wanted to come in to bid for him, they're going to be paying you pretty much double the amount that you've bought him for. Next one is Lucio. I like Lucio. I like him because of his strength. Um, I think he is incredibly tricky to buy on this game with Leverkusen. Again, he's 5 million. Um, I've tried to buy him many, many a times, but they always hold out for a lot of money. I normally get to about the 23 million mark before they finally start to agree um, a price for him. Um, they don't normally give him a new contract either, so there's no, you know, you can't really take advantage of stipulations within that contract, a minimum fee release clause or relegation release clause. Not that they're going to get relegated at this time as well. Leverkusen were quite a good team with Oliver Newville and Berbatov in there and Balak, who is just about to join Bayern, actually. Um, so they were a good team. Uh, so the problem there is he's already at a good team. Would he want to leave? Obviously, with the domination of Bayern Munich, he might decide to leave. Next one is Christian Kivu, 20 years old. These guys are young, by the way, okay? Right, if you thought that Nesta and Ferdinand were hard to get, try and buy Christian Kivu. This guy, they do not... Honestly, if you need, if you want to buy Christian Kivu, you need to take your checkbook with you because this guy is not going for a short amount of money. So really, ideally, when you're looking at this, you're talking about possibly being Barcelona or Real Madrid in terms of the amount of money that you've got in order to buy this guy. Maybe even Blackburn Rovers. Obviously, you wouldn't go to Blackburn Rovers. But, you know, they have a bit of money on this game, don't they? You do need to get your checkbook out if you are going to buy Christian Kivu on this game. Uh, next one, John Terry. He is an incredibly good player. Uh, you've seen my Let's Play with Chelsea. He just turns into this absolute beast. He's 1.8 million, but... You know, he's he played 22 games the previous season for Chelsea, so I think they can sort of see him as, you know, a, a really good potential for the future. But when you look at their team, they actually have a few central defenders that they can use. They've got Desai, they've got Galas, uh, they've got Ferreira, they've got Melchior. You know, you've also got, like, your fullbacks secure, like Lasso, Babiaro. They've got a strong, strong team, and they might decide to let him go depending on whether they can bring in a replacement for him. Next one is a champions uh, championship manager 0102 legend, Ibrahim Said. Um, this guy, he goes for about a million, even though he's 160 grand there. He goes for about a million in the end. He is an incredibly good player. What I like about this player, I don't actually normally play him as a defender. I play him as a defensive midfielder. Now, that position on championship manager 0102 is probably the most OP position ever. Always use a, a, a you know a defensive midfielder. He is he is just phenomenal, and this guy in that position is perfect for it. Nothing will get past Said. Nothing, absolutely nothing. If you put him in that position, he is secure for a very very long time and many many years to come. So I do recommend that guy a lot. Next one down, we are going to Shakhtar again, where we just seem to be absolutely inundated with youngsters and phenomenal um, phenomenal attributes here. Again, it says defender, defensive midfielder, centre. Here's another one who, if you wanted to sort of rotate 
and have it as a defender or have as that defensive midfielder. He is a very, very good buy. Again, you know, they don't go for a lot of money, these players, these Shakhtar players. Um, you know, their price tag originally is very, very small and you can sort of bargain with them every so often. Or like I said in the previous video with the fullbacks, you can actually wait and see if there is something in their contract that you can take advantage of. But nevertheless, he is a very good player and die. Uh, next one is Frederick Risp. Now, I like this player, Frederick Risp. Um, I think he takes a couple of seasons to be, you know, a really good player. But the age that he is, you know, 20 years of age, 26 grand is, the, you know, the amount that they start off with. He, he, he is going to go for more. He's not going to go for 26 grand. Um, but I do think he's worth it. I think he's worth it for those teams that um, are sort of going for Europe. So possibly like a Tottenham and Newcastle, um, a team like that who, you know, want a solid central defender uh, within their team. I'm thinking of Newcastle just simply because they've got uh, Dabizas and you want to get rid of Dabizas and Marcelino. They're like the, the really shit defenders that, you know, Newcastle have. Uh, he is a really good replacement for those guys. Um, next one, again, we're going to Shakhtar. This guy was in my fullback video, but he is too good to leave out because he can play as a central defender. Um, I do actually like playing him as a central defender if I can because normally my team consists of Mike Duff as right back, so that takes, obviously, Isaac out of that position. Um, and then normally the left back that I go for is possibly like a Jamie Victory type of player. But I normally find that I can get better fullbacks uh, than Isaac, so he normally sits in that central defender role. Uh, and the finally, again, Taribo West. I've got to put him in, guys. I have to put him in. This guy is free. Just buy the guy. He is absolutely worth it. I said it in my fullback video that he is amazing. And he is. He is he's probably one of the best defenders that you can get for absolutely nothing on this game. So don't be deterred by the amount of uh, teams going for him. Just go for it because he is well worth it. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed that video, these are my top 10. If you enjoyed that video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more like this, and I shall see you guys later.